Okay, critical idolatry, uh, I think of as synonymous with uh, nonviolent iconoclasm. That is, treating the idols that you see other people worshipping uh, with a kind of respect, um, rather than saying, oh, that's a false image, that's untrue, we have to smash it, we have to get rid of it. Uh, that would be the, the traditional iconoclastic posture. Uh, treating the idolater as superstitious, stupid, uh, or even worse, as uh, evil, uh, worshipping demons and so forth. Uh, so I take the cue for this from Nietzsche's Twilight of the Idols, in which he says he wants to uh, combat the eternal idols, but he's not going to do it uh, by destroying them. He's going to strike them with a hammer, as with a tuning fork, in order to make them sound and either expose their hollowness or, I think even better, uh, make them play a tune uh, that is interesting, beautiful, illuminating.